Hey everyone, welcome to the Wild and Uncut podcast brought to you by Ruger. I'm your host, Christy Titus. Thank you for tuning in. The line is going hot, so let's go full send on this episode. Hey everyone, if you're watching this podcast, then it's probably safe to say that you're like me and you love hunting, shooting sports, and of course, you support conservation of wildlife and wild places. I really believe in the power of free market principles. So I wanna ask you today to join me in making an impact and consider supporting companies like Ruger, Onyx Hunt, and Dead Downwind that are not only supporting this podcast, but they are also supporting the values and traditions that we live out day to day. Thank you all for watching. You guys, my next guest is the one and only Alex Sansone, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, I did it right. I got his name, I keep getting twisted around. And you're my first male model today. Oh, fantastic. At the fashion show. So I am super stoked about this. We love you know, having things that are for the ladies and the men, and possibly, in this case, both. Absolutely. And that's what I love. This is, we're going to have some product diversity that is not just great for the ladies, that your husband, sons, you know, we're, we're everybody here. Uh, so show us what your product is. Tell us a little bit about where you guys, where you, what is your company called? So uh, I do not work directly for Filster. Okay. But uh, since they weren't able to attend the show, I'm local to Houston, and so they asked that uh, I kind of stand in and Alex represent is them. professional talent. That's what we call that. It's professional <laughs> talent. Okay. It's being more than a little generous, but I'll take it. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, the the Filster Enigma is a chassis system that allows you to position a holster without having to attach it to a belt line. So the advantage there is if you are not wearing a belt, uh, you know, for or in a circumstance where something needs to be tucked it gives you a lot more flexibility. Uh, a chassis system. Yes. Now, I have never heard a concealed carry garment be referred to as a chassis system, so I am, like, dying of to learn more at this point. And the, the reason why I preface it with that is, um, since everything is worn under the clothing, I don't want the audience to get the wrong idea when I start unfastening stuff to, okay. to put it on display. <laughs> Phil <laughs> is, no, Alex, Alex is going to start... <laughs> Unbuttoning is closed. So yes. for you guys listening, um, just bear with us a little bit. We're going to try to walk you through what the viewers are seeing. So in this example, so just yeah, walk basically, us um, you know, for the listeners, uh, suit jacket, slacks, tucked in button down shirt, uh, no belt, and there's nothing visible at the waistline to indicate That's that correct. there's a gun present. Yes, you're fully dressed right now. Correct. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is when I start unfastening the trousers, you're going to see the grip of the pistol kind of start peeking out yes. above okay. the waistline. So this is like an appendix carry. It is configured and optimized for appendix carry. Okay. And so the way it works, I'll actually go ahead and take the jacket off so that, that way we'll be able to give kind of a... Uh, 360 degree. So view for you of listeners everything. right now, what I'm seeing is, is Phil's pants are unzipped <laughs> and he just took off his jacket. <laughs> it's that kind of party. <laughs> it's that kind of fashion show. So okay. um, basically, what we've got is there is a, a waist belt okay. that the, the whole assembly attaches to. Perfect. And there is a laminated material faceplate that actually is what affixes to the holster body. And this looks like a Kydex holster. Exactly. So when you guys go to online to or order, mm -hmm. you order it firearm specific. Correct. Okay. And the nice thing about it is there's two variants that are available. Okay. There is the Express, which for probably the kind of the newcomers mm -hmm. to the system mm -hmm. is the most turnkey solution that exists because it doesn't require any assembly. Everything's already put together for okay. you and it's designed to be an out of the box. Uh, kind of configuration. So this is almost like its own internal 
belt. Precisely. Mm -hmm. So instead of wearing a belt on the exterior of your pants and mm -hmm. trying to attach a holster, this becomes its own belt. Exactly. So now drawing capabilities, limitations with this? It depends on how you have it configured. So again, okay. for the folks that were listening and not watching, I had everything riding below the waistline yes. in deep carry, which anytime I'm, I'm dressed up is my preferred method because balancing the social requirements with the tool access. Yes. Um, if I'm just kind of out day to day, I will run the grip above the waistline okay. and then I can either have the shirt untucked or I can have the shirt tucked in over it. So and you have a couple of options depending, there's some flexibility with this depending on what you're wearing. And that's the beauty of the system is what separates it from any of the other options out there are number one, the fact that it is a Kydex shell. Yes. So you have superior retention and it is safer when you are returning the pistol to the holster. And because it's separated from a belt on a pair of pants, if you're wearing one, you can adjust not only the position kind of, you know, around the, the clock of your body, but also up and down. And this is one of the things that John and Sarah at Filster, the, the company mm -hmm. that designed this, have really done well, is they have taken into account kind of the the different builds mm -hmm. and helping people identify what they call the sweet spot because everybody has kind of a prime point on their body yeah. that is optimal for hiding a gun, but it's mm -hmm. not the same for everybody. For everybody. Yeah, because we're all shaped and built so differently. Precisely. Yeah. And so that's the advantage of this. Now, okay. the one piece that I don't have on mine that is on the factory and is highly recommended um, especially for, again, newer users, yeah. is there is a small leg leash. It's, an, it's a secondary loop that attaches to the bottom of the faceplate okay. and goes around the upper thigh. Okay. Especially when you are running the assembly above the belt line, mm -hmm. it's critical to have that because... It gives you added security. So if you draw from the holster, mm -hmm. your entire belt system is not going up with the firearm. Exactly. Yeah, it makes and, perfect sense. And it also, again, depends on your build because yeah. if you have... If you have the belt around the widest part of your body, which works for some people, yeah. when you start tugging on this thing, as you can see, the entire it's, assembly wants to lift. The reason I can get away with it in this is when I have, when I'm fully dressed, the the, the, the front panel trousers. of the trousers is yeah. hugging everything in, yeah. so that it's able to come out with a uh, with an appropriate draw stroke, <laughs> and so. Uh, <laughs> Just drew in his underwear. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, my pants uh, are still partially off for the folks that are, are, <laughs> that are, are, listening, are, are, are listening to this. This is, um, I, I, this is the best uh, I, I segment we've done so far. <laughs> I think so. Um, this is fantastic. So this is for men and women. So Absolutely. what about when you go to order, back to the technical mm -hmm. aspect of this belt system, I'm assuming it comes in sizes. So like, is it by inch, small, medium, large? How is the sizing? F on the Express, and uh, you know, again, for the viewers, I've got this one set up where there's a pretty su substantial tail okay. to it. And so once, uh, it's not really designed to where you have to order it as a size. Yeah. But once you have your size dialed in, they do encourage that you trim off any excess. Mm -hmm. So that, that way you're not having to contend with little flappy bits. Yeah. On the original Enigma, that one is a little bit more DIY because you can purchase the fa pl face plate separately. Okay. And any good quality Kydex holster that has the appropriate... Uh, hole spacing for the, the wing that'll take either a mod wing, a dark wing, or the uh, RCS wing, any of those three, the 5 8 spacing, okay. can mount to this. Okay. And so, like, again, for the viewers. So, if you have a Kydex holster with the appropriate mounting holes, mm -hmm. it may be compatible with this, and then you could just potentially buy the belt and not have to buy the holster or. You could buy a new holster, because everybody needs a new holster, exactly. and the belt, and then you could swap that out interchangeably with other firearms. You theoretically can. I will say that um, I own three of these, and it's because it's a whole lot easier. Just to, to buy just a second belt. To, yeah, to, to have a rig ready to go. Because it's to swap like shoes. holsters. Exactly. We need more than one pair. <laughs> That's what it is. It's the same thing. You're not wrong. I am not wrong. And just kind of to kind of bring it back... Um, especially for the, for the females in the audience, yoga pants are a really popular use case for this. Yeah. Because there aren't a whole lot of really great options to attach a holster to an elastic waistband garment. So this is where that comes into play. Mm -hmm. Or alternatively, 
Uh, for the female perspective on this, Tessa over at Armed and Styled mm -hmm. has done some content on this, and she actually was brought in to partner with Filster. She does a phenomenal job of talking about how this will work into a woman's wardrobe. Skirts, dresses, yoga pants, jeans, so whole is nine the, yards. So do they have a YouTube channel that where like our viewers can go and check out and like watch the product demos? What is it? What, do you know what it's called? Yes. So there are two channels. Okay. The the Filster channel, kind of proper, is Filster, and it's okay. P H L S T E R. Okay, I'm trying not to laugh right now because you as we do Phil. this, well, I do keep calling you Phil, but Alex is now buttoning his pants and putting his pants back on, so he's having this serious conversation with me while putting on pants, so. What, is that not normal? <laughs> it's just it's the first for me. I'm getting a little, get a little. <laughs> um, but yeah, so educational content, specifically around kind of the mechanics of mm -hmm. the Enigma, mm -hmm. that's going to be Filster's. YouTube okay, channel. Okay, perfect. And then... They probably also have a website. Yes, yeah. So, spell Filster for our um, our viewers and listeners, please. Certainly. It's P-H-L-S-T-E-R. So, it's like Philadelphia, P-H-L-S-T-E-R. Perfect. Second half a holster. Um, and then Armed and Styled was the other YouTube channel that I mentioned. And that's where you see more kind of practical application yeah. of, the, uh, of the rig for women. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us, Alex. And I really appreciate you taking the time and actually for being here because, um, you know, there are so many people out there that that are looking for everyday carry options because mm -hmm. we want to keep our communities, our homes and our families safe. So absolutely um, really appreciate you spending your time with us and uh, for being so willing to uh, model for <laughs> us all. So well, and you know, it was it was my pleasure because yeah. <laughs> the reality is, is a lot of the concealed carry content out there, as phenomenal as it is, especially for folks like when I started, I had a legit white collar suit and tie job. Yeah. And I wrestled with trying to incorporate some of the more conventional solutions mm -hmm. into what was my reality and my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And this the Enigma was the solution to all of those issues. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for joining me. It was my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you guys for staying with us. My next guest is Amanda Suffakul, and she is not only the presenter of the fashion show here at NRA Annual Meetings since 2014, right. you also host your own radio show. Right. Yeah, I am um, nationally syndicated in Second Amendment, and so I am I actually believe that I am the only Pro Second Amendment um, nationally syndicated radio show mm -hmm. so that's out on a, on a weekly basis. Yeah, that's really yeah. impressive. Um, it's really important, I think, right now more than ever that we kind of are, and I keep saying this over and over with every guest, I feel like, changing the face of who the gun owners of America are. I tell people that the Second Amendment now wears lipstick. Di Mueller. <laughs> Mueller. Sorry, Mueller. I keep calling her Mueller, and she's like going to punch me. She's like Mueller. <laughs> yeah. It's Mueller. Di Mueller loves that tagline, actually. She, she quoted that earlier when she was visiting with me. So what brought you to... Um, not what brought you to doing a radio show i mean how did you end up going from not having a radio show to being nationally syndicated i mean that's an Im impactful it's a little bit it was a little bit of a journey so um it started that people had questions and so our local radio station had said I, i'm a, i'm an nra instructor and ohio had passed their concealed carry and so they had questions for us about the concealed carry and mm -hmm. so so they asked us to come on for a 15-minute segment to answer questions. And when we got there, there were so many questions that they kept us for three hours. Oh, wow. And so then they invited us back a month later and kept Same us for situation. three hours. Mm -hmm. And so then a month later, they called us in and offered us our own show once a month for an hour. And that was in 2010. And it turned into um, we were doing two hours of uh, question and answer talk radio mm -hmm. in Cleveland, Ohio. And what was really amazing is we took it to the number one show in Cleveland, Ohio. That's we were talking incredible. at the heart of rock and roll. We're talking guns. And, um, and people were listening and they really responded. And then Salem said, hey, you know, let's, let's talk. And so that's, that's kind of the, the story. So are you shooting competitive as well and in instructing? So I, um, I don't, I'm not a competitive shooter like some of the girls are. I yeah. periodically compete just because I want to know how it works. So more so I want to know the dynamics. So I'll go to a three gun shoot and give it a try. I'll go to USPSA and give it a try. I've gone to Camp Perry for the national matches mm -hmm. to compete just, just because I want to 
if I can get somewhere in the middle of the pack, I'm like, I, yes, yeah. right? I just want to see how they're doing it, what they're doing, what their challenges mm -hmm. are. And I think that that helps in, in having the conversations when we're talking a variety of things on, on the show. Mm -hmm. So what are your, some of your more frequently asked questions on your show? Well, you know, th that's probably one of the reasons why the Concealed Carry Fashion Show came is everybody was like, well, what do you carry and how do you carry it? Mm -hmm. And um, with women, we're all different shapes and sizes and heights and mm -hmm. everything. So what I can carry, you can't. Um, mm -hmm. With somebody who's apple-shaped versus somebody who's pear-shaped, you know, somebody who has um, an extreme sense of modesty versus someone who doesn't, all of those things tie into it. And so... so so sending people to look at different websites, to look at different pieces of information, saying this company does it, this company does it, here's how these kinds of things are, that, that's one of them. Then they'd ask about, about guns, about which yeah. gun. And, and then we talk, I mean, we really talk anything related to the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's so important right now that, you know, we are the majority, the law-abiding gun oh owner. Goodness, yes. We are the majority. Uh, we are safe. We are responsible. We are wives. We are mothers. And we want the same thing as everybody else. We want safe communities. We want uh, we want to be able to protect and provide our fam for our families. And, and so those are, you know, that's that's why the Second Amendment is here, and, and that's why it exists, and, and that's really what we're advocating for. And, you know, with this fashion show, I think it's so important that um, our listeners and, and viewers of this podcast have an opportunity to see what's available because there's not a one-size-fits-all when it comes to concealed carry. Oh, Some yeah. people want to be inside the waistband, outside the waistband, off-body carry options, ankle holsters, belly bands, and, <laughs> and corsets. What, what's, and what's crazy is there's so many people who are adamant that your way of carrying is wrong. Yes. My way of carrying is right. And it's like there is no right and wrong. Depending on how you live, depending on where you live, depending mm -hmm. on all kinds of things, there is an option for you. And you need to explore that option because I want you to have a gun should you need a gun. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to tell you what way is the best way or the only way if that you find that difficult and then you then leave your gun at home. Mm -hmm. And so, so we, try to, we try to be the non-judgment zone and say, here's all this. One of the things that we do in the show is we use real gun owners mm -hmm. in the show, so, which means it's not, it's not models. It's not size double I. Yeah. You know, not double at buck, but double at size, zero, zero. right? The zero, double zero. At, like double zero models. Right, <laughs> They're, that, are, that are more than a whisper size, yeah. right? And we use real people because we want to show that concealed carry holders come in all different sizes and shapes. Mm -hmm. And, you and know. we all have our own unique considerations when mm -hmm. it comes to carrying because our bodies are all so different. Correct. What works for me might not work for someone else. And your lifestyles are different. That's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, so you brought the fashion show here. How many people are exhibiting um, their We've their got 32 park? items in the show, and we've got 20 models, and some of the models are modeling a couple things. They're all volunteer models, so mm -hmm. the funny part is, is as people see these models coming through mm -hmm. in your interviews, you'll see that they're people you know. They're writers yeah. and bloggers and um, professional shooters, and you know, they're people in the industry that are doing something. And when I say, "Hey, I'm doing this," would you would you like to be involved? They're like, "Would I? Sure, I would love to," because they understand the importance of sharing the message, and and it's like a party. Yeah, you know, it's the, a lot of fun. Everything that's happening in the background, everybody's like, they're they're dogging one another about different things yeah. and who's modeling this, and and this time we have concealed carry underwear, so. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying that right now, Kelly Pigeon is in her underwear out front talking to somebody. God uh, bless her heart. I, yeah, well, there you go. I'm and not doing that. I'm, I, not, I'm not an underwear model. I'm, I'm <laughs> not also. I mean, but, okay, so walking right by is Gabby Franco. She could be it. She could be a right. underwear model. She could. I mean, but, but think about it. We've got Diana Muller. We've got Gabby Franco. Yeah. We've got, I mean, we've got Dr. John Adine from yeah. Doctors for Responsible Gun Ownership. You know, those are people that people know their names. They know their missions. They know the things that they do on the side, and this way they get a little snapshot of their personalities. Absolutely. So if, if people, you know, the people are going to be watching a lot of uh, different ways to carry and a lot of things to consider during this podcast, is there like one resource or one place they can go to see the lineup of products? Have you put a, like a master website with click-through links or anything like that available? Oh, that would be a great idea. So no. <laughs> 
<laughs> we have a um we so have what you have to do is you have to listen to this podcast and the things that you either see or hear on the podcast if you like the idea of them write them down and just get online and there, there is that we have a facebook page called realize your carry options and um that would be that would be where this stuff will start mm -hmm. to end up and we are also this video is going to be this video is going to be available the pod the fashion show video is going to be available okay. and it will be linked through there also where so where is the podcast going to be able to watch the, the same so website? so it should be through the facebook page realize there'll okay. be a link and our hope is we'll end up with it on um on a couple different things but we work with a um, on-demand tv station called ops lens mm -hmm. and so we fully expect it to be on ops lens as soon as we get it all the all the producing yeah. done in the background yeah. that all was the production that was the word all the yeah. production completed so right. give me that facebook page again where people can go and kind of see a summary of what um because there's going to be stuff you guys are going to miss out on in this podcast that right. um unfortunately i won't be able to grab the attention of all of the ladies that are that are modeling some awesome products um mm -hmm. that are really designed to keep us safe um so, so yeah realize carry um, Realize Fashion Shows, I think, is the Facebook name. Okay, Realize. Realize. R-E-A-L-I-Z-E, -E, and it's Concealed Carry Fashion Shows. Look for it on Facebook. And you guys, if you're not listening to Amanda's radio show, how can people tune in? So it is it's a podcast and radio. So it's Eye on the Target Radio, so E-Y-E, -E, Eye on the Target Radio. Okay. And, um, yeah, you should be able to find me in a variety of places, wherever your podcasts are, plus the radio stuff. There is a website of the same name, mm -hmm. and, there, and believe it or not, OpsLens does a TV show of us sitting there doing radio. I feel somewhat Howard, St Howard Sternish, <laughs> right? Or you're like Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, something. It's like, so, so we do that too. So Fantastic. on demand TV, you can watch it on your TV if you want to see us. Fantastic. Thank you so much for putting this together and bringing this to America so us ladies can feel comfortable carrying every day. There you go. And we have guys. The well, guys yeah, are modeling yeah, too. Yeah, that's true. So we, we have a variety of guys that are modeling. Ladies. Yeah. I feel bad. I just Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to we're going to we're going to some of them look like hams. We'll just say <laughs> they're it's going to it's going to be a fun show. I can't wait. I'm just buckle up you guys. It's about to get good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thank you Amanda. I appreciate you. Thank you. So now I have the lovely Miss Bridget Reed Wynn mm -hmm. here with me. Bridget, what's your background? How did you get into being a firearms fashion designer? I Most mean, <laughs> like, not only is she like gorgeous, she's very smart and talented. Thank you so much. Um, actually, my husband and I, we are the first African American um, FFL firearms store in St. Okay. Louis, Missouri. Um, Prime Protection STL, or you can uh, look us up, Prime Protection STL's Tactical Boutique. And we've been doing this since 2016. Okay. We actually started off as a concealed carry class. Um, concealed carry instructing and things like that. And then we saw that there was more of a need for us to be in the community and, you know, have firearms, have uh, women's concealed mm -hmm. carry lines, things like that, that the women can also be um, introduced and comfortable with coming into an actual store to ask their questions and things like that. So we basically branched off. We still do CCW mm -hmm. classes, but we branched off and we expanded into an actual storefront to be able to be more personable with our community. Um, and then we collaborated with you know, a lot of the concealment lines mm -hmm. and things like that. So, so in your store, people can find not only the bag you're going to talk about today, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm assuming you're going to have a lot of recommendations on other types of concealed carry products, garments, clothing, Most things that you've tried and mm -hmm. can really lend kind of that professional ear of expertise to. Yes, that is absolutely correct. So actually at the Tactical Boutique, um, the reason that it is a boutique, again, is so that the ladies can feel comfortable when they come in, yeah. not only when they come in to purchase a firearm or be fitted for the proper firearm, also to know that they have other options and ways of carrying that mm -hmm. firearm. Because oftentimes, um, us as women, we'll find an excuse yeah. 
to not carry it. Mm -hmm. So I want to make sure that you don't have that excuse. Okay. You have the concealment carry bags if you're only going to do the off the style of carrying, off the body carrying. Um, that you also have the on the body carrying, mm -hmm. which is like the concealment leggings or shorts or corset style holsters. Mm -hmm. So we have a wide variety, different brands that we carry in the store. Um, even with Kydex holsters, we do our own custom Kydex holsters. Oh, so, incredible. And you're um, making those in-house. Yes, ma'am. So, yep. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. So That's we do impressive. that. And just because a lot of the times ladies are like, oh, this is not for me mm -hmm. well the tactical boutique we introduce it to you and let you know that you are included and it is for you as well and we have to be our own superhero so we want to make right. sure that you carry as do well. you have a website yes ma'am we i keep saying ma'am too okay. yes ma'am we I'm, do i'm um, older than her so it's totally fine <laughs> i think it's the military <laughs> side that i work wait for. are you military i am not military i work for the military okay. though so i'm kind of yes I, hey I, i'm down i'll be a ma'am today it's all good <laughs> i want to go have tea when we're done with this <laughs> that, that too, right. okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yes, we have a website. It's www.primeprostl.com. Um, everything that we sell in store, we also have it available online. online. So, so yes. ladies can actually maybe call you yes. and say, hey, Bridget, mm -hmm. you know, what do I, what do I want to wear? I, I, this is my body build and yes. my, because we're all shaped. And yes, we're all different women mm -hmm. um, and you can help them make a decision that might be or at least give them a direction or steer them away from a direction that might not be, you know, the right. best way for them to go for concealed carry. Yes, that is absolutely correct. Um, so we do a uh, custom fittings. Mm -hmm. So not only is that for uh, firearms fittings, that's also for concealment lines and making sure that you are properly carrying um, what's best for you, not what someone told you you should be doing. Amen. So it's almost like just like when you purchase a home, you come in, you know that it's you. That's the same thing when it comes to firearms and any other style of carrying. Mm -hmm. So you have to feel comfortable in the way that you're actually carrying that firearm. So we help you out with it. What is the bag that you brought for the fashion show or one of the items, I should say, that you brought um, for the fashion so show? So this lovely, lovely little it is bag a here. really beautiful bag. I love the I leather. Mean, for those of you that are listening, I feel bad that you can't actually see this bag because oh this God. is a beautiful bag. It's like a beautiful like a burnt it's orange yes, color almost. Yes, with, winter, spring, with lovely summer, lovely white stitching. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's exquisite. So this um, handbag that I actually have is the Chameleon Concealed Carry mm -hmm. Bag. This is the saddle. Um, beautiful stitching, beautiful leather. It's very durable, and it's actually a concealment handbag. Mm -hmm. So there's a holster that's already equipped inside of the uh, handbag and it's universal so you can put whether it's a full size or a compact firearm mm -hmm. can fit in here um, so it's perfect so if you are a lady that chooses the off the body carry mm -hmm. option this will be a great handbag for you or you know you can dress it up you can dress it down and it goes with everything oh it so really does yeah uh, that's the awesome thing about the chameleon concealed carry line and this actually has mm -hmm. you know which is so important with with off body carry the um for those of you that are watching um the actual pocket for the firearm is separate from the main body exactly. pocket which is so important that yes. we keep the firearm away from anything that could engage the trigger um, exactly. and so this has what you called it a universal fit it looks like it comes with a holster it does so it has a removable holster in here you guys did you hear that velcro you hear the velcro that's it's, the awesome thing to have it's like it's in there too yep. so it gives you a lot of security mm -hmm. um and i would go ahead i'm gonna try to pull this out so yeah. i can show the ladies but i don't know how easy it is to get it. that's a good thing that it doesn't just slip it out it doesn't that just way come if out you it's are gonna keep your hiding. firearm secure there you go and it matches it does match so it's here cute. is the holster it's a soft holster um and as you said it's it's universal mm -hmm. and this is um just absolutely also beautiful um so you can actually place your firearm in this holster and position it within mm -hmm the pocket itself in the manner in which you want. So um, that way you have a very comfortable draw cycle for yes. your individual way that you want to carry the firearm. So that's that's super awesome. It comes with that. Yes. Yep. That's how it works. Um, just to be able to adjust it to your comfort level. Mm -hmm. um, and again, like you said, keeping it from having any accidental discharges mm -hmm. from finger like objects that could possibly get in their trigger well um, is why it's so beneficial with carrying an actual mm -hmm. concealment bag. We don't want to you know really it's not recommended to carry in your nice 
everyday bag, get a concealment bag, and you'll never go wrong with mm-hmm. that. Absolutely. So. Thank you so much for taking the time to, to talk to everybody and uh, for welcoming everybody into your shop virtually yes. and uh, as your storefront as well. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of ladies that are going to be calling you with questions. And um, so thank you so much for coming in. And I tell everybody again uh, your website and your storefront. Yes, ma'am. And thank you for having us, um, having me. Um, my storefront is Prime Protection ST. STL's Tactical Boutique. Um, You can look us up on Facebook and Instagram, Prime Protection STL, and our website is primeprostl.com. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. you. This was amazing. Yeah, yay. (laughs) Cool. You are like all dressed up and looking so cute. And I love your outfit. So you're Anna Taylor, and your company is Dean Adams. Yes. So tell everybody about your product, because you would never know by looking at you that you're concealing right now. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Yes, your yeah. outfit is just like, on a scale of one to nine, one to ten, she's like a 15 or a 20, or like actually off the charts. She's oh, just stop. amazing. Oh, stop. <laughs> you look fabulous. <laughs> well, thank you. So tell us about what you have. Well, I'm wearing the Dean Adams Conceal Carry Corset in ice. So one thing that's awesome about it, so first of all, safety. Yes. You, you implement your standard draw stroke um, by removing your cover garment and going straight into your holster. And it comes with a universal trigger guard that you can place over your triggers and uh, over your trigger. Um, you also have a retention strap if you'd like to use it. Perfect. Um, but if you add the a custom Kydex, you don't have to use the, the retention tab because the Kydex um, holds your gun insecure. It, uh, the Kydex will actually fasten down into the corset and secure your firearm. Fantastic. Um, it's shapewear. It's cut and contoured uh, to a woman's, the shape of her body. Yeah, and it gets our curves, it ladies. Does. It utilizes those curves yeah. for concealment. So we're using all the tools that we have. Yeah. And then it's really lightweight, and the whole backside is that soft mesh. Oh, yeah, you can see it's totally like a sheer sheer mesh yeah. that would be super comfortable to yeah. wear. So there's no rubber, neoprene, anything like that. It's really lightweight, and so if it doesn't actually make you sweat, if you're already sweating, you're going to get a little sweat back here, but it actually qu- creates kind of like a, a cool breeze mm-hmm. once you have some that going on. So, so what about ladies that are left-handed is this ambidextrous can we draw mm-hmm. from right or left yep. side so it's ambidextrous you okay. can cross draw if you'd like okay. uh, there's spots for extra magazines on the opposite side okay. there's a channel that uh, that uh, divides the both compartments um, that would keep your muzzle in place if you don't have the kydex mm-hmm. it'll also give you a spot to uh, carry an extra knife or extra magazines and it keeps them right there where you want them well what I like about this corset is like I don't know about other ladies that have um, concealed but sometimes going to the bathroom can be like a bit of a challenge <laughs> um, and this seems like you wouldn't have any issues because it is a corset so it doesn't affect how right. you know you put or take right. on your you right. know, take off or put on your pants right you don't have to take it off you don't yeah. have to um, mess with that at all it's uh, because it's a little higher than a traditional appendix carry yeah it's very comfortable for sitting down because mm-hmm. um, it holds it the gun higher up on yeah. your waist so it's really comfortable uh, when I first designed this I was actually tandem nursing my girls okay. and being able to carry you know babies around it mm-hmm. again with carrying slightly higher than a tr- traditional appendix um, a- allows a place for baby to sit on their hips and have la- legs go in a safe you know spot that's mm-hmm. comfortable and um, also for nursing things like that everything is just secure and comfortable yeah <laughs> So. Yeah, it's a designed by a woman for a woman. Mm-hmm. And this is, you know, this is so important. We're here at the fashion show. Amanda's put this on. It's an incredible event. But really what I think it's important, the takeaway here is that gun owners and Second Amendment advocates, we're moms. Yeah. We're wives. We're everyone. We're your neighbors. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And you're designing products for women by women. And um, that's just incredible because it's actually you're putting that woman's touch and the thoughtfulness into, you know, where you would put a baby on your hip, which obviously I would have no clue because <laughs> I don't have kids. I'd be like, where did where does the baby go? OK, yeah, um, yeah. but I would never think about that. So that's fantastic. Um, where do people find where can, where can we buy your corset? Yep. Well, you can find, uh, so we have over 365 SKUs. So we have all kinds of corset holsters, thigh holsters, concealed carry leggings, 
um, a full line of custom IWBs and uh, coming soon, OWBs, actually, yeah. next week. So for those of you that and don't know, IWB is inside the waistband, and OWB is, is outside, outside the, the waistband. waistband. Mm-hmm. So you're manufacturing products that would accommodate different situations. So perhaps you live in a state where open carry is legal, and then maybe you'd want to look at the outside the waistband products versus inside and maybe you know, concealing that way. Yeah, and um, uh, 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 outside the waistband situation might also be when you're going to training classes. Mm-hmm. So you can actually fasten those to your concealed Dean Adams concealed carry leggings and train with the OWBs as well. And you can shop at deanadams.com and it's spelled D-E-N-E-A-D-A-M-S. Perfect. And you're probably also on all the social media channels as well. Yes, Dean Adams Official or me, Anna Taylor Official. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you for being here, and uh, thank you for showing Absolutely. us your thank fantastic you. product. Thank you for one of me. 365. <laughs> <laughs> this is we only one. You guys like <laughs> options. We like yes. options. We like options. We like shopping. We? Go we to Dean Adams. It's there. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. All right, everybody, thank you for joining me for this episode of the Wild and Uncut podcast. I'm here with Diana Mueller, who is an awesome Night Force teammate of mine, three-gun shooter, and um, also the founder and creator of the DC Project. And we're coming at you guys live from the 2022 Concealed Carry Fashion Show, which is presenting the ladies of the DC Project. At the NRA convention. That's right. We're all here celebrating I don't want to say that cut that I never said celebrating editor's note (laughs) we are all here (laughs) Um, so tell me how you ended up starting the DC project quick background and you're shooting police background I mean you're literally a woman who (laughs) has done it all and you understand the true meaning of protect and provide Um, and and that's why we're all here at the NRA show is because we understand the value of being able to be our own first responders a term that you really love to use it it is you took the words right out of my mouth that we all are our own first responder and whenever uh, seconds count police are only minutes away yeah, and you know that firsthand because you I do. are a law enforcement officer. Yeah, I was with the Tulsa Police Department for 22 years, and I loved my career, but I started competing um, towards the last you know, quarter of that as a, as a hobby, uh, dabbling in uh, pistol competition, and then when I found 3-Gun, I fell in love with 3-Gun because it was all three platforms, rifle, pistol, shotgun, mm-hmm. and we don't ever do anything the same. There's no repetition, so it's always, you know, going to a new place and shooting different courses of fire. Mm-hmm. So I really loved that, and um, I was actually like 100% barrel racer when I went back to competing. Cop and cowgirl. Cop and cowgirl. <laughs> and then I, I traded all the cop and all the cowgirl in for three the gunner. guns. For the three guns. And then, you know, I was getting sponsored and it was becoming, um, it was coming more and more of my time was done shooting and yeah. I really enjoyed it and I really fell in love with the people. Yeah. So uh, fast forward to 2011 and I sold all of my farm. I sold all my horses. I sold all my tack, my everything. And I moved to town, retired in 2014, married my husband, Ryan. Who is an awesome guy. <laughs> I mean, you guys are the best couple ever in the Aww. world. Apart from me and my yeah, husband. Yeah, you and Yogi. <laughs> and, um, but 2015, you know, okay, so I've, I'm a retired police officer. I'm shooting for a living. Everything is like golden. And then I think the Lord really put it on my heart mm-hmm. to do the DC project. And how that happened was I was, uh, we were on the East Coast, close to Washington, DC, and I had a friend. And she said, do you want to meet your congressman? And I said, I guess so. I couldn't have cared less. It wasn't something on my radar, but it was literally like a lightning strike when we're sitting in there. And I'm saying, is there something that we should be doing as professional shooters? Because the Mitchellicks were with us, too. And I said, is there something we should be doing as professional shooters to help educate the people in this building who are making some horrendous decisions that affect all of us? And uh, from there, I realized that I could only have standing in Oklahoma. So I was like, I'm going to have to get other people in Mm -hmm. other states to go to their representative states. And then I realized that the female voice can really break the stereotype of a a typical gun owner. Mm -hmm. So uh, I started just rounding up women one from every state to go to Washington, She's recruiting me for Wyoming as we speak. (laughs) Mm, This is our new Wyoming state director. (laughs) Well, in the beginning, I I didn't have, I didn't want to make a new organization. I just wanted to go and 
try to make a difference. And having everybody that had standing in their home state going to Washington, D.C., and having a conversation with our legislators yeah. and saying, hey, this is how I use my firearms. This is why I want you to stand up for the Second Amendment. So whether they're pro-2A and we strengthen that resolve for the Second Amendment or they're anti-2A and they see a completely different face mm -hmm. and a different reason, um, a different story, you know, it's not something that they hear on mainstream TV. So, yeah, that's... Um, that's how it started. And then in 2019, um, I saw Virginia fall to an all anti-gun legislation mm -hmm. from the top to the bottom. And I was like, crap, the, the fight is in the States. Mm -hmm. So then I, I went to these women that had been coming to Washington, D.C. And I said, hey, how about you guys go back to your home states and do a similar effort at the state level? So now we have state directors. We opened our doors to everybody. Now we welcome everybody to come into the dcproject.info slash join for free. And th what these ladies are really doing, you know, you guys are, are speaking to members of Congress. You're mm -hmm. giving your testimony, personal testimony. And what is, what is so impactful, I believe, about the D.C. Project and, and truly the women gun-owning members, lawful gun-owning members of a society in America, the women, is we put a different face, like you were saying, to what the gun owner is. We are mothers. We are wives. We are aunts. We are the soft spot that everybody lands that is the face of the gun owner. We want to be able to protect. And in my case, and in a lot of people's cases, we also want to be able to provide for our families. And I think a lot of these politicians don't see the softer side of who a gun owner Absolutely. really is. Absolutely. And, and we are not bad people. We're not barbaric. We, we're, we're just the gal next door we're in average many humans. cases. We're average humans. And uh, Amanda Sufkul, who's actually hosting uh, the Realize uh, is hosting the Concealed Carry show tonight. Uh, she likes to say that we put lipstick on the Second Amendment, mm -hmm. and I like that. That's a great saying. It is fantastic. So if you guys want to get involved in the DC Project, again, give the website one more time. dcproject.info, and you can join, share it with your uh, like-minded friends, have them join uh, if they're, of, of uh, you know, financially, if they want to support us. Like, mm -hmm. we are up against a $60 million Bloomberg machine of mm -hmm. Moms Demand Action. Yeah, and it's it's a really tough, you know, a lot of the ladies that go to Washington, D.C. and lobby, um, they're, they're doing it on their own dime. And so when you can support the D.C. project, a lot of times you can get ladies in really critical, you know, what we call like a battleground state to, to be able to have that opportunity. Now, where I live in Wyoming, we have constitutional carry, um, and it's a Second Amendment sanctuary state. So we're not necessarily a, as contentious of a state. However, even in my state, our leadership, our governor, uh, needs to hear from us. Absolutely. Um, because what we don't want is some of these states that are a stronghold for the Second Amendment to swing that other direction. Right. And so having funding and having opportunity for women to get out there and put, like, like we were saying, a different appearance to what the gun owner is and... Um, we all want the same thing. We all want to be, be safe. safe. Yeah. And you mentioned the L word lobby. Uh, we aren't lobbyists. We are advocates. We are grassroots advocates. And um, we are wanting not to only to influence our legislators, but we want to influence. We want to teach our community how to talk about the Second Amendment and why we oppose universal background checks, why we oppose red flag laws. Um, there are reasons. So um, if any of your uh, audience is listening, you can go to dcproject.info and look on our landing page. We have a one page printed out, like basically, how do you talk about, um, how do you talk about the Second Amendment with your friends, mm -hmm. your family, your community, your church members? Um, educate yourself it's it's like i talk about i always compare it to you know being a disciple of christ mm -hmm. if you're a disciple of christ you have to read the book you have to you have to worship you have to do things to to bond with that and it's the same thing with freedom it's the mm -hmm. same thing with america it's the same thing with the second amendment mm -hmm. you have to become a disciple of the second amendment in order to be influential for the second amendment and you know we are the majority the law abiding citizen in the united states as a gun owner is um, is the majority we are not the minority you know there's such a minority out there that that is doing harm and it's not us and and honestly most of the violence that's coming with gun violence i believe all of it has been from non-nra members as well so nra members you know we know statistically that a firearm in a good guy's hands will stop a bad guy from creating violence in sorry i'm choking now well <coughs> violence has to be met with equal or greater force 
if uh, if we disarm the population. That's what's so sad about um, the mainstream media and the disinformation um, and their disingenuous motives. Of you know, there are people who want to disarm America, and they will tell you that they don't want to disarm America. They just want to basically do a death by a thousand cuts. And um, it's disingenuous, and it's dangerous for our country. It's dangerous for our freedom. It's dangerous for your family. Absolutely. So you, um, I, we're just so thankful that you're here and that you're putting that positive face to who, who gun owners really are. And um, what you're doing for all of us and for freedom is just completely respectful. And thank you for presenting here at the fashion show tonight. Yeah, I get to be a model. Yeah, do you know what you're modeling? I do. I'm, I'm modeling a uh, purse from Browning on, in this so you're going to have to come back now yeah. and do another segment in your uh, with your purse and okay. showcase what, what you're bringing to the fashion show. Okay. So thank you guys for joining us with Di Mueller from the DC Project. If you want to go online and learn more, again, what's the website? DCproject.info. Thank you, Di. Thank you. So off body carry, you're you're kind of modeling a purse today. What was it? What's the purse called again? Zendira. Zendira. Okay. Zendira. This, this is kind of a high fashion appearing bag. It smells good. Okay. You can't smell it out there, but it's very nice leather. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Okay. So this is real leather. Yeah. I wasn't because sure. Because I can smell it. Okay. Yeah. So this is not vinyl. No. I don't think so. No. You smell it, it smells like leather. Oh, yeah. That's Yeah, real. that's definitely leather. So <laughs> Zend Zendira has a genuine leather bag, yeah. really nice kind of heavy-duty gold zippers. Yep, yep. So talk to our listeners a little bit uh, from your professional perspective, mm -hmm. Di, because, you know, you're in law enforcement, you're a competitor, you're a shooter. Um, Off-body carry is not always the best way to carry. It's not always the preferred or the safest, securest. It is a way to carry. It is a way to carry, and I would certainly rather have... Because your draw is going to be affected and the security of the firearm is going to be affected. Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as the draw, I would rather you have it and not need it than need it and not have That's it. Right. Or, you know, instead of not carrying mm -hmm. it all. So uh, I will carry off body occasionally. The one thing that I do look for when I'm carrying off body in a purse is that it's a hidden compartment. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, you know, when somebody steals your purse, they're looking for the goods in this inside. They're going to be here. So you don't want anything from the top that they can break open and see that um, right now this looks like a seam. Mm -hmm. uh, these two looks like a seam and it has a matching seam. On the front. Yeah. So it, it uh, I think this is nice and slightly um, more concealed, slightly more concealed. And you can see that um, uh, it's a nice big compartment. It does have a holster in there. Uh, for okay. our fake gun with pink grip. Okay. So the holster that's inside mm -hmm. is probably some kind of stretchy kind of nylon-y fabric with Velcro, I'm assuming. Actually, I feel like it, that you do need your own holster. This is like okay. just so a holster. there's no holster. No. no. Okay. So with a Zendira purse, you would need to purchase a secondary holster, which is, isn't a big deal. They right. sell them online. It goes either um, way. And it's ambidextrous, so mm -hmm. it's either side, um, which is a consideration Um with the holster you're going to want to look for, you want to make sure it has Velcro capability because what you don't want is to put your firearm in that compartment and have it shift. You want to know where your firearm is at all times. So when you go to reach for it, it's where it needs to be and it doesn't just go rolling out across the floor on accident somewhere in a very unsecure and unsafe way. And your trigger guard is covered. Yes, and that your trigger guard is covered. And one thing that is nice about this and is very important when you're off-body carrying is that the compartment for your firearm is actually separate from any other compartment. So you can't have a pencil shove in there or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So in this one, this is the large main compartment for your general purse storage. And then your concealed carry is in the side here. Um, now with this, it is interesting. It's a tote. So I'm trying to imagine, you know, am I putting this over my shoulder? How I did could, you model I it? I did. I okay. put it over my shoulder and then I carried it just like a, you know, with So your hand. one consideration with this, you put it over your left shoulder like she did. And then mm -hmm. you're just going to want to make sure that you place the pistol in here in a manner to where when you go to reach for it, you're grabbing the grip of the pistol. I would do the um, compartment towards the inside. I and that way it um, is here. It hides your, what your hand. Yeah. So here, instead of your 
compartment on the outside, mm-hmm. compartment on the inside, mm-hmm. and then you can walk with yeah. it. And if literally, you keep, if it's a revolver, you could probably just shoot through it. Yeah, and if it, when, and how she prefaced, or I would say why she prefaced revolver, is some of the issues with firing through a purse with a semi-automatic is during the cycling of the action, uh, it can catch fabric and cling fabric and malfunction. Uh, malfunction the firearm so that you maybe perhaps only get one shot when you need more um, in a defensive situation. Mm-hmm. So a revolver would, it, in this type of off-body carry, if you are planning... To shoot through the purse. Potentially having yeah. to shoot through the purse. A revolver is a much safer, less likely to malfunction option. So mm-hmm. uh, do you know how much this bag retails for? I don't, but I'm going to guess... Rather expensive. Yeah, I mean, it lasts several hundred dollars. Yeah, it's 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 a nice looking bag. Mm-hmm. Um, seems very well built mm-hmm. and is a good option. So thank you for demonstrating. Yeah, this. Zendira, and I don't know what their website is, but um, yeah. I'm impressed with their bag. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, checking out this latest product. All right, everybody. Our next guest is Jan Walbrett, and you have an entire concealed carry line as well that you've designed yourself. Correct. What is it called? My company is Incognito Wear. Okay. IX, like nine mil. Okay. And the website is incognitowearix.com. So what made you get into creating concealed carry fashion? The nutshell version is frustration. The longer version was a perfect storm of having family members and neighbors be victim and feeling helpless. Mm -hmm. Uh, Understanding that... I needed to be able to protect myself and my loved ones. Opened up the closet and said I had nothing to wear with my firearm. Mm -hmm. So I designed clothing to solve my problem and to help other women get the the gun out of the person on their person. Mm -hmm. So this was this was born kind of um, out of what we all feel a need for, which is to be um, our own first responder. Absolutely. And not only that, I think, you know, the the face of the gun owner is not what a lot of people think. We are the majority. We're law-abiding citizens, and we have care and concern. We want to protect our families. And if you're, you know, like me and you hunt, you also want to provide. And that's where firearms are so important for us all, protection and provision. And um, tell me a little bit about the products that you're offering, what you're building, and and what goes into and behind all of them. I came from a home builder. Uh, background of Mm -hmm. interior design so now I have put on the hat of becoming a fashion designer and learning about designing to minimize the printing so that's my goal that you can open up a closet you can take my lion and lamb top uh, which is what I'm wearing Mm -hmm. and know that you're not going to print okay to bridge that gap from purse carry where we all start to feeling confident and uh, Mm -hmm. to carry on body so you have the tools I have tops. I'm coming out with a skirt and a jogger pants. I have a dress that allows you to carry at the waist. Mm-hmm. Um, all made in America. Okay. And I'm coming out with my first men's top that I'm really excited about. So I'm excited about all these new things mm-hmm. coming. So you're designing all of these, you're getting fabrics, and then you're also following then the latest trends to design your wardrobe around. Correct. That is fantastic. So show me, show, stand up maybe and show the ladies um, the shirt that you're wearing. What was this one called? This is the lion yeah. and the lamb. Okay. Um, it is two pieces. So okay. the lion tank top because okay. that's where we are packing. That's right. You can uh, crossbody draw with one hand. So if you've got your purse, a drink, your child, um, and you have that warning signal, your intuition, you can have your hand on the gun and be ready to draw. If you pers- prefer strong side. You, you know, traditional draw. And then the outer wrap, which I call the lamb, softens mm-hmm. the look so yeah. that you are fashionable, you're armed, and you're incognito. Nobody yeah. is going to see it. It's not tactical. Tactical, it's comfortable, and you're going to keep wearing your firearm once you get home from work. You're not so going to be in a hurry to change. On the lamb side, so underneath the undershirt, I noticed that you have designed in two separate cuts. So whether you're right-handed or left-handed, this shirt would technically then be ambidextrous. Yes, um, and I say that hesitantly because the way they cross allows the right-handed person to easily get inside. Okay. If you're left-handed, it will be a little bit more challenging, to be quite honest, Okay. to clear the outer garment. Um, but if that were the case, I would say 
just lift do it to hand. Lift and draw. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. But I can easily, for those of you all on video. It's okay. The, it, we have editors for <laughs> yeah, good. when you want to flounder around. <laughs> it's totally fine. We're going to cut right there. So start your train of thought from the top. So when you have. <coughs> Excuse me. I hear the national oh, anthem. Oh, they're doing the anthem. Yeah, we should pause for a second. Sorry, we had the national anthem there. Uh, so we wanted to give respect to our country. Okay. Um, so you have now reversed the firearm on your body to kind of demonstrate mm -hmm. what a... What a the crossbody draw. So very easily, I can be walking to my car. I have okay. my keys in my hand. I feel like somebody's following me. I am ready to draw. Okay. So I'm ahead of the count. Perfect. This is fantastic. So you have several garments to choose from for people. You're expanding your line. You're working towards creating a men's line now. And again, can you tell everybody your website so they know where to find you easily? Thank you. Yes. It is incognito, wear like a garment, ix.com. Perfect. And you guys, if you have any fashion needs, if you're looking for a new top, a new skirt, or a new shirt for the man in your life, give her website a look and a shop and um, American owned company. We appreciate everything you're doing to help empower women to carry so that we have the ability to better protect our families and our communities. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Thank you. And now I've got Kelly Pigeon in hers. Yeah. Ooh. So all of you that are listening via audio, Kelly, tell us about what you're modeling. Okay, so I have on um, some compression shorts, in my opinion, but they are under tech, undercover, okay. just shorts. And certainly they are something, they're like a boy's boxer cut. They shorts. almost remind me of Spanx. Like, you know, the shorts that you wear that are yes. Spanx, like the tummy control. That's mm -hmm. kind of what they look like a they, little bit. Uh, they have a good amount of compression to them. Um, that's for sure. And I will say, if you have any video, I am... Um, just over 5'10". I weigh about 140 pounds. I usually wear a size 6, and these are a small. That is their thing. So they're, even though you may say, oh, I always wear a medium, but I don't in these. And so but they are still compression size. Um, so what I appreciate about these, they're two well, things. Well, let me tilt your mic just a smidge. Hello. There we go. So what I'm appreciating um, about them, Amanda said, uh, they have a built-in holster right in the waistband yeah. um, with a little retention strap, if you can yep, see that I can here. See it, yeah, and got so a retention strap in the back. Yeah. So when you talk about a built-in holster on the waistband, for those of you that are listening, her built-in holster on the waistband is on uh, her waistband on above her butt cheeks. Yeah, 5 o'clock and 7 o'clock. So you call it 5 o'clock, I call it above the butt cheeks. It is. Uh, <laughs> I think abbreviated would be ABC. Above the butt cheek I carry. Love it. <laughs> yeah. It's not, um, not my favorite. So place. it is it is around the back. Mm -hmm. However, there is I mean, there is some there is some added benefit to this. Like you were demonstrating some jogging situations. I can um, say, even without having pants over top of it, um, my even though it's a blue gun, of course, it's the right size and replica, the gun didn't move, it didn't jiggle. I did jumping jacks in it. It felt secure. I, it was very secure. I even went to the restroom before we did this, and I didn't even move the gun, and it stayed completely in, yeah. intact so as that I is, dropped my drawers. That's a concern <laughs> a lot when you're wearing Always. a firearm on a clothing Always. garment is that when you drop your pants to use the restroom, there's often a technique to mm -hmm. having being able to do that safely. Mm -hmm. And so in this situation, it, it wasn't a problem. Not so at all. turn back around for me again. So this has a built-in holster. Do you know what firearm platform that these um this particular one is a ruger lc9 okay so it is um a thin single stack okay only because i showed up late i didn't get to pick something else okay so this does fit a moderate size concealed carry pistol um and it, like even your lcp2s or something like that would yeah also the micro fit in i would stick i would probably stay in the micro yeah. family of like compact lcp2 yeah mm -hmm. yeah small and there is a retention strap yeah. is and the, the the trigger guard looks like it's built Com in yep and completely the, covered and and so completely safe yeah. so you can put your clothes over it you can put you know whatever mm -hmm. you want to wear mm -hmm. while you're jogging while you're active or just to wear like 
over, underneath anything, really. Sure. Um, sure. So when it when you draw from this, with it being um, ABC above butt cheek, how does that feel reaching around? Um, this is not my favorite position of carry. The one thing that I um, I have several concerns with it, but with the retention strap, you have to just sort of get used to how are you going to disengage that quickly. And I would use my thumb, thumb. as you saw there, to push so that off. So she's taking her thumb up the back strap of the pistol and basically rolling the retention strap off the pistol. Right. It's all one. It's all one piece, which okay. is fine, and it's elastic, so it does move pretty easily. Okay. So I was just able to take my thumb, just give it a little push up okay. up to uh, the back of the slide, and it came right off, so that I could just come straight back up. And on, and then reholstering. Mm -hmm. How does that feel to reholster on this? Well, you know, we never like reholstering a loaded gun when we can't see what we're doing. But exactly. So perhaps <laughs> it would be best with these to reholster and then put, put your the pants, pants back on. on. I would so put, definitely. That would be like a use hack that you guys might, might want to consider. Yeah, but it is sure. a good option if you're sporty. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's definitely designed to keep us carrying and <laughs> um, active. Yeah, absolutely. I was surprised that. Like I said, it really stayed in place. The retention was really good. I was impressed with the retention. Okay. So, again, what are these are called? Under tech, undercover. Under shorts. Shorts. Mm -hmm. So, if you guys want to get online yeah. and check out under tech, undercover shorts, um, and those of you listening, uh, just give them a look, and uh, they might be just the perfect thing for you for your next okay. uh, concealed carry uh, garment. Awesome. Thank you for modeling. Thank you you've so been, much. You've been such a good sport. I've had a guy <laughs> in his underwear and a girl in her underwear today. I don't know what's going on. It's just this, this is fashion. This it's, is fashion it's week. All it's fashion, fashion week in we the have, NRA. We have a lot of challenges <laughs> with concealed carry, and so we're just yeah. just showcasing Perfect. how we can address the challenges. Thank, Thank you, you so you much. So. Thank you. I appreciate right. you. So for all of you listening and watching, I'm with the wonderful Ursula Williams. And Ursula, yes. you have like an awesome background. You're a yes. law enforcement officer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You are a firearms instructor. Yep. Tell everybody a little bit about your background and what makes you an yes. expert. So I've uh, been in law enforcement for 17 years. I actually just recently got out, which is cool. And also um, I've, been in, I've been a pro shooter for seven years now, but also a competitive shooter. Or excuse me, a firearm instructor for so pro about shooter. 10 years. What's your what's your game? My main game, my main jam is going to be multi gun or three gun. Okay. So two gun, three gun, whatever the name and game is, I will shoot it. Um, but I also do USPSA and long range as well. So girl, that's my game. I, long range. We is gotta go do this so, yeah. together. Yes, we should. We just became best friends. I, we need to get more girls out there. Because but. well, and not only that, like I'm shooting my first three gun match next weekend, and mm -hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing. I've never <laughs> been to one. I'm just I'm doing the media day. Just me preface this, okay? I suck. Uh, but long range. Mm -hmm. But you know, we should we should. I mean, we're gonna collaborate after this because okay. we're gonna go do some shooting. I'm always looking for um, awesome chicks, and you are. Holy smokes, you're sassy. Um, <laughs> so you are also instructing firearms too. Yes. So yep. where are you? Where do you live? I'm actually based out of Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. So where can people find you if they want to mm -hmm. learn from you? Uh, definitely reach out to me on Instagram at Ursula.308. Okay. Yep. Super simple. Super simple. Ursula.308. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to talk a little bit about off-body carry. Mm -hmm. So Di and I are going to talk about this from a law enforcement standpoint, from a safety security standpoint. Off-body carry is an option, mm -hmm. not always necessarily the best option. Right. I mean, obviously, it comes with a really high level of responsibility because you always have to main, maintain control mm -hmm. of your firearm in, yes. and that bag. Yep. Like, it literally has to be an extension of you. Um, so, talk to everybody. You you have the packing Neat so, Tactical Bag. So, basically, um, so I got to model two awesome products. Um, okay. So, one is going to be, the first one is going to be the packing Neat uh Basically, it's a purse organizer. Okay. So for those people who don't want to go out and get a particular, like, a steel carry purse, they can take what their existing purse is, whatever is a, um, a tote type of setup or... A, and drop it in. Yeah, drop it in. So basically, this whole thing... Like, I have this, this giant is, leather... Oh, wait, here's your example yeah. bag. So the example bag that, uh, that I walked with was basically nice, simple, clear tote bag just to kind of show the actual product itself. So okay. it's kind of set up like a nice little, almost a bathroom caddy type yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's what so it reminds me of, yeah, actually. Like, I'm it's like, like oh, a bathroom caddy yeah. with a gun in it. So yeah. like <laughs> which is, there you go. Even so, better. So basically, you can take this entire setup, and move it from one purse, and also put it into another. So it's If actually, you want a large bag or a smaller a bag, bag, it's a little, yeah. you can add some versatility yep, to it. Yep, you sure can. And okay. basically, it's going to fit a uh, small, Kind of like your subcompact and down to your micros. Mm -hmm. But there is no issue for me actually drawing from this setup. And it's the setup that we have is actually the tote bag. 
but you can put in whatever. And does it come with a holster inside there? It does. And a retention strap. So it doesn't have a re- retention strap, but it's more of a, a magnetic little flap snap type okay. of setup here. Okay. So. so it does have a holster inside, so mm-hmm. it will have a trigger guard built in. Yep. So on your you know, LCP2, something like mm-hmm. that, you can stick that in or LC9s. Yep. Um, Straight in. Yeah. And, yeah, it does cover the trigger guard. And there's also looks like a little bit of space where you can actually remove the flap. That's what it kind of looks like here, which is okay. actually kind of cool. Yeah. So you have easier access. So we're also, with this fashion show, it's really fun for a lot of us that are here for you modeling, mm-hmm. is we actually also get to learn about these products. So the people that are making them are generous. They send them so that we have the opportunity to mm-hmm. look at them, but they aren't necessarily here. So we're also exploring some of these bags right. kind of as we go. So because this is... Because the there's no one-size-fit-all no, solution. There's not. So that's why there's so much stuff out there. And that's one thing I absolutely appreciate about all these companies actually doing this. Yeah. Because it wasn't for like things like this, I would not even known half these companies companies existed well and not only that but we're all different body shapes and sizes mm-hmm. and contours and what i like concealing with or off body carrying with m- might be something different than you right um and so it, it just gives everybody like that option to decide what is right a woman's right to choose yeah that's what exactly. we just we're doing that that's right exactly here what that's doing. what we're doing right yep. here we have a woman's right to choose where they want to carry their firearm is perfect. Where they want to do it. That's and how right. they want to do it. So Exactly. I, so the next bag you have, um, hold on. This right here was actually pretty awesome. The uh, Zendria, Zendria Thursday. Yeah. So These are all leather bags. All leather. However, they do have a, a pleather version, a, okay. a version as well. So I just, which is kind of funny because I'm actually vegan. So <laughs> so I, pretty much. I live on meat. That's what I do is eat I meat know. 24-7. But guess what? So I'm not your like militant vegan where I could be like, oh, you can't have leather. Because yeah. like being in law enforcement. I had to have a leather yeah. uh, leather belt and yeah. also, you know, leather boots and things like mm-hmm. that. So I'm not that that type of person. I, do I would whatever. starve to death, I feel <laughs> like. I feel like my body would just start disintegrating if they're like, oh, you can have lettuce. I'd, I'd, I'd weigh 100 pounds. <laughs> if there was no bacon in my life, oh I'm my not joking you. I swear I would be like 90 pounds. I don't know. You know what's funny? Nobody's really born vegan. So, like, I still give out steakhouse recommendations. <laughs> I'd still do wine parents yeah. to yeah. like all types of meat. Like it's, it's all good. <coughs> like <laughs> well, we are so off topic here, but it's so, so back to the purse. Back here. to the purse. Back to the purse. You so can get this in a vegan model. Okay. You can. <laughs> <laughs> The vegan special. The vegan model, uh, which would be a pleather bag. Yeah, so it will be pleather. But one thing I actually thought was actually cool, what they end up doing with this particular one is that. This is the Hello Wednesday. No, this is Thursday. Oh, no, this so is Thursday. Thursday. I already did. Oh, yeah, they have a Thursday and a Wednesday. They so have a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. They just came out with a Friday. So you can wear a different purse every, every day. Every single day. Oh. It's and brilliant. all of them, they don't even all look the same. They no. all have like little different styles like yeah. you would wear, you know, Wednesday. Like looking at the Wednesday, you know, purse, I probably wouldn't wear, wear it on Saturday unless yeah. I had something that I would normally do yeah, on Wednesday Yeah, because the Saturday Wednesday purse thing. might be a little big, but Thursday mm-hmm. is looking a little more like you might go downtown for a drink. Yeah. Like well, that's no, you're not happy supposed hours. to drink with your purse, sorry. I mean, like, uh, uh, I'm but not talking about if that. You're not, if, if you're not carrying your purse. This is where you go downtown for appetizers with your friends. Yes. <laughs> yep. That little little supper-ish. Yeah, supper-ish, yeah. So, but the setup of it is actually pretty cool. It's super simple. It doesn't even look like your standard concealed carry purse. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing I definitely want to uh, put out there, that a lot of these companies – Holy cow, like purses have came such a far, long way. Long way. Because when, mm-hmm. when I first started shooting down the guns, the purses looked hideous. Yeah. Absolutely hideous. They were like paisley and, and like, uh, what was those things that the glitter rhinestone thing that people oh, put on geez. their belts? Bedazzled. There oh, we go. Bedazzled. Yeah. <laughs> Is, oh, they and, wait, they sold those bedazzling kits when we were like eight. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So and that's what I was like. Yeah, no. So when I saw them, I'm like, they just screamed like, you know, old bingo lady with a gun. And it's yeah, no, like, it's not I was good. like, no. Not good. But and these are, these are designed, these are top notch, like classy, yes, classy, classy bags. Classy, yes. So this is also a drop in. Yes, bag. it is actually a drop in. So um, this is the Thursday. Mm-hmm. Crossbody, um, full leather, um, Nice round bottom with a snap up, kind of like a taco type of setup. Uh-huh. So, yes. Very nice. It's a beautiful bag. Mm-hmm. And uh, both of these are, are good off body options for those yeah. of you who are wanting to learn more. Uh, Zendria.com for this bag, it's Z E N D I R A.com. And for the first organizer bag, it's Packinneat.com. So, P A C K I N N E A T dot com for the organizer bag um and uh is that right hmm? yeah 
That's yeah, right. that's right. Okay, I did it right. I just want to make sure. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I was like, let me double check. <laughs> I don't know. Am I Cause reading this? Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, maybe they put a G. In well, it. she started. She started looking started at mine and over, like, I'm what like, did I just do wrong? No, I was like, oh, okay, cool. You just made me sure. double check myself. <laughs> Doing this oh wrong. Lord. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in for this section. And uh, if you want to learn more information about these bags, you know, and if you want to get some training from Ursula, you guys check her out online. She's super legit. And um, I, dude, we're we're, we're gonna shoot. We're gonna oh, shoot together. Oh yeah. I'm excited. I got a prairie dog farm at mm-hmm. my house, a town. Uh-huh. You gotta come. Okay. Long, I'm in. Ra- long range prairie dogs. Yes, I'm in. I am oh, totally in. Oh, so fun. And I shoot 308. So. Yeah, well, it's gonna be dope. We might we might switch you on that. You, you have what? to have a really good wind call with your 308. I know. So. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not that I'm good. Like, like, I'm not that good. I don't shoot 308 for a reason. No, I, I love 308 because like right now like um a lot of people can't find like primers, oh, brass, yeah, yeah. powder, but all that you type can stuff. 308. You can find 308 everywhere. Tip, everywhere. This is a professional tip from Ursula. Thank you so much. You're, <laughs> you're very I welcome. <laughs> My next guest is Stacy Clonch. And Stacy, you are a firearms instructor. You literally run a chapter. Tell everybody a, a lot about what you do because you, you have been building a chapter for over five years in your community, instructing women in training, and, and you really are an expert in what you do. Yeah, so I um, am actually a facilitator for a girl and a gun. And I was with the Willard Woman for five years. Mm-hmm. Um, I just recently got on with a girl and a gun. I've been a member for a couple of years, but I just started a chapter in my area. And I love Where is your area? It's in Hot Springs, Arkansas. Okay. So we're kind of a tourist um, town. Mm-hmm. And so everybody comes there from Texas for sure. Um, but I also do, of course, the firearms instructor. So I do a lot of training. And I run another program with my range. I'm on the board there mm-hmm. over the women's venues. And so I have several women's groups that I handle, and um, I'm a junior vice commander for the local Disabled American Veterans mm-hmm. chapter. Um, You're doing a lot of stuff. I am. So you brought a, a clutch to the um, fashion show here. It's not something that you designed, mm-hmm. but it's, it's more impactful than that in many ways because it's something that you wear and use and conceal with. So explain right. our viewers and our listeners um, what, what you brought to the fashion show. Okay, um, so this is actually the bag, not this design, but this is the actually a bag. If I don't uh, carry on my person, then and I have to purse carry for whatever reason, this is typically the bag that I've been using for about five years now. Okay, and, and what is this bag called for, for the listeners? It's called a um, Urban Utility Bag, Eucala Bag. This is the Panda and this one, I guess, is also called the zombie bag. Zombie. Is that what you were saying? Okay. Correct. Well, this so may be the... Mine is the zombie, um, and it's all leather, so this one probably is the panda. Okay. This is the one I'm going to model tonight okay. um, for the audience. But, but this is from Urban Utility. Yes. This so is this Urban is for Utility. off-body carry. Mm-hmm. So if you are in a position where you don't want to conceal on your body, this is, this is strictly off-body carry, this particular product. And so Correct. what are the features that you like about it that make it your kind of go-to for off-body? Well, being a mother um, with littles, I like to have my, well, I like to have my hands free whenever I'm, Mm -hmm. you know, going in and out of stores. And so I like that, that you can cross body this bag. Actually, I like the versatility. Um, You can actually wear it multiple ways, like a fanny pack. If you choose to, you can wear it um, around your waist and on your leg, like a drop, drop leg style holster. Okay. Um, One of the other things that I love is that it's a top draw style bag. Um, so by top draw, she means at the top of the purse, you can actually straight insert your pistol so it's not coming in at an angle. No zipping and getting into it. Mm-hmm. Um, it just makes your draw so much quicker. Um, in fact, if I'm ever in an area that maybe I you know, am questioning or whatever, I can even have my hand there as I'm walking, mm-hmm. and it's just, it's just right there. So, so in this that. in this top draw, um, does it have like a built-in holster, retention strap? What are some of the features that you're going to find inside? So it comes with a Kydex holster that you can actually order. When you order the bag, um, when I ordered my bag, um, I told them what everyday carry pistol I had. Mm-hmm. And they gave me the Kydex holster for the bag. Mm-hmm. And so the holster will come with the bag. And it actually just, it's Kydex, but it Velcros inside of the bag. You can't really see it on camera. Mm-hmm. But... And then it's got this magnetic closure, so it keeps it closed. Keeps it closed, and I can still access it very easily and quickly. Quickly, mm-hmm. and I don't have to worry about it falling out. I can. Jump and Kydex has great retention pro- uh, uh, properties, which is right. you know why you order it. 
firearm specific. Correct. So you could probably take the same bag and possibly order additional Kydex holsters mm -hmm. that would work. Or you could maybe find an off-brand um, holster that you could actually Velcro in possibly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, that's exactly right. So, I've, you know, I don't typically change firearms a lot, but um, if I do choose to do that, yes, she's exactly right. I would just switch out the holster, the Kydex holster, mm -hmm. and use the same bag. And, of course, it's got, you know, multiple um, zippered pockets, of course, um, front and back. And it's just a lightweight bag. These are the straps are actually slash proof as well. Mm -hmm. And I love that feature. Mm -hmm. And so this is just the it's been my go to bag for five years, like I said, um, when I have to purse carry. And it looks like there's even side compartments where you could possibly have something like Pepper spray. Pepper spray or... Um, Pocket knife. I was just going <laughs> to say that, yeah. And these, there's a lot of leather components to this, and it looks like everything is really well reinforced mm -hmm. and pretty durable as well. It really is. It will take a beating. Um, I, trust me, I have had it on the range, um, traveled with it multiple times, and it, like I said, it still looks brand new. Mm -hmm. And I got the leather one. This one is the nylon, I guess, mm -hmm. but, but still it's got this area here on the back so it just really molds to your body as well mm -hmm. and um, like I said I like having my hands free but still being able to access the firearm mm -hmm. so maybe if you're athletic wear or something that's too stretchy and you can't really have a gun belt or mm -hmm. something um, for whatever reason you have to off body carry this is definitely one of my preferred Go to. Go to's, yes. Fantastic. Thank you for sharing this with us. Absolutely. All of you viewers, again, at home, this is called the, um, sorry, huh? Urban Bag Ukawala. 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 And it actually has, well, it, they changed it. It used to have a koala here, but, but yeah, it's Urban Bag. Herb Gear. Utility Bags. Ukawala Bag. So check it out. They have all different styles now. Um, just a really great bag with a lot of pockets, so... Thank you so much yeah, for sharing absolutely. this with us and all of you watching. You know, we're really trying to bring to the viewers at home um, how women every day right now, the, the latest in trends and, and how we can comfortably carry so that we can protect our families, our communities, and be our own first responders. So thank absolutely. you so much for coming down. Thank you so much for having me, Christy. Thank you. All right, everybody, this is the last lady for our fashion show, Ms. Robin Sandoval. Tell us about your background in shooting sports and what brought you here. Well, I run an organization called A Girl and a Gun, and so I've worked also with the DC yes. Project. I'm on the board of the DC Project, and advocacy is really part of my a passion. I'm yeah. very passionate about it. And so um, I try to participate in these fashion shows whenever possible just to give support to the DC Project. Absolutely. Well, and A Girl and a Gun has chapters across the country. So if you ladies out there are looking for a chapter to connect with and women to learn from um, and gain inspiration from and train with, um, A Girl and a Gun is a fantastic resource. Like uh, you guys, you and Juliana mm -hmm. Crowder, right? Is that, yeah, our, is that yeah. our lesson? Okay. Um, you and Juliana, I love Juliana. You guys are doing such incredible things. And... How many chapters do you have now? We have our programs in over 300 ranges across the country. We have 7,100 card-carrying members, and we trained 35,000 women last year. That is unbelievable, yeah. the outreach. And so you guys are really making um, being safe and confident with your firearm relatable to the everyday woman. And yeah. we're, we're all being able to become our own first responders because of women like you. So thank you so much. Thank you. I, it's such an incredible thing. So if, what is the website where ladies can learn more information? About a girl and a gun? Yes. A girl and a gun dot org. So very simple. A girl and spelling out and right. Mm -hmm. A gun dot com dot org. Dot org, yeah. yeah. A girl and a gun dot, dot org. org. Perfect. So what are you wearing for this fashion show? What did you model? For this fashion show, I am in the incognito wear lion and lamb blouse. Yes, she was on here earlier. I love her. Yes. And it looks fabulous on you. Thank you. I love that it's um, mix and match so you can make different colors. Mm -hmm. It has where you can uh, reach in cross body or strong sides. You yes. have options. And it's really comfortable, too. Yeah, and she actually also had mentioned after we were done filming that you can do um, an underarm holster as mm -hmm. well on that as an option. Um, it looks fabulous. You can't even tell that you're carrying. And I was carrying a full-size pistol in, in the fashion show, and when I showed the blue gun, everybody was 
Never they were even shocked. knew it was there. Right. Completely shocked. For yeah. The lion and lamb is a great outfit. And she has, what was her, can you, rem- hold on, let me see. Uh, well, I wanna Jan. Get, get, <clears throat> I want to get her website right um, so I remember. This is a editor's pause for a moment. <clears throat> incognito wear IX, is that what it is? Sounds right. I'm just going to yeah. say incognito wear. Okay. So Jan with Incognito Wear has a website. You guys can just go to and look at the Incognito Wear. And she she has not only the Lion and Lamb shirt, she has other items. She's coming out with stuff for men as well. So it's super awesome. And if you guys are out there and, you know, t- the biggest takeaway, I hope, for all of you at this fashion show that are tuning in is that um, firearms are are for everyone. We are the majority. We are safe. We are responsible. And the reason we want to own and carry, the reason we do own and carry firearms, the reason our second amendment exists, the reason our God-given right exists is so that we can protect our families, our communities, and provide. The second amendment is so important. And if you guys are looking for training, which is so important, if you are going to choose to be a gun owner and you are going to choose to carry, training is absolutely critical reaching out to women like the gals that you're going to find at over 300 chapters for a girl and a gun is mm-hmm. so important yeah and not only does training provide um, knowledge on the product but it provides confidence mm-hmm. you're able to defend your family mm-hmm. and and know that you're doing it safely and correctly absolutely thank you so much for taking the time in this 11th hour of the evening i'm not even sure what time it is anymore <laughs> uh, for doing this and thank you all for joining me for this episode of the wild and uncut podcast coming at you from nra annual meetings the fashion show 2022 put on by amanda suffical thank you guys all for joining me and we will see you next time Hey everyone, chances are you'll be hunting in remote areas this hunting season with little to no cell phone service. And because of that, Onyx has a super awesome offline feature that allows you to download and save your maps within the Onyx app in advance of your hunt. Downloading the maps are super easy and it just takes a couple of minutes. So once you're in the field and you're using the Onyx Hunt app, in the offline mode, it's not only going to save your battery life, but it's also going to mean that your maps are always visible and available for your use. Onyx Hunt gives you the freedom to navigate wherever you want to go. And now you can save 20% on your new Onyx Elite membership when you use the code WILD20 during your online checkout. Thank you for listening to the Wild and Uncut podcast. If you would like to hear more, be sure to subscribe to my Pursue the Wild digital series on YouTube and follow me at Christy Titus on Facebook and Instagram.